good morning students welcome to leela's tutorial so today we'll discuss about artificial insemination process in this artificial insemination process we are going to introduce or insert the sperm cells directly into the female reproductive system of the animal right so here it can be introduced into the cervix right the sperm cells can be introduced into the cervix or up to the fallopian tubes or into the uterus right so here you are shortening the uh, travel of the sperm cell the sperm cell has to travel all the way and move through the fallopian tubes and reach the mature oocyte to undergo fertilization so here what is happening you are shortening the distance in case of artificial insemination so here as it is the collection of the semen from the male animal then the semen uh, has to be collected in an uh, sterilized right the sterilized container or the jar which is non toxic plastic material and uh, see here after collecting the semen you are going to separate the motile sperm cells right you are going to separate the motile sperm cells by means of centrifugation so now once you separate the sperm cells you allow it to go for the ivf process right you allow it to go for the ivf process or if the process is delayed you can store the sperm cells in cryo preservation that is cryo preservation is nothing but storing the sperm cells at minus 196 degrees centigrade by using liquid nitrogen right by using liquid nitrogen you can undergo this cryo preservation of the sperm cells where which can be revived and used for the later process otherwise directly you can go for the in vitro fertilization of the oocytes then see here the artificial insemination is done in the female that means artificially we are introducing the sperm cell the separated sperm cell into the female why we must do that so in some cases there may be the male sterility right the infertility is observed in the male animal right so what is the reason for that this is the structure of the sperm cell where it consists of head and the tail region right so here you can see the another picture where the head is very much bigger than the normal size in that case the uh, sperm cell cannot swim all the way through the fallopian tubes so it fails to fertilize right in the second in the third case you can see here the sperm cell consists of two heads right so again this is an infertile sperm cell then you have the sperm cell with two tails so all these are not fail uh, all these fail to fertilize the mature oocyte so here they will clarify from the semen they will separate the motile sperms right motile sperms and then they inject that into the uterus fallopian tubes or into the cervix of the female reproductive system right in another cases where the two animals are present in very different regions so you can't get the animals Uh, all the way so what they do they collect the semen from the male animal and they come and go for the artificial insemination see here they are not extracting the oocyte from the female the female here they the oocytes are present inside the body itself only the sperm they are taking uh, out right they are collecting the semen and they are separating the sperm cells from the semen and they are injecting into the female animal right so here the fertilization is occurring inside the body only thing is it is inserted directly into the female reproductive system is that clear so this is called as artificial insemination process but the fertilization and the reproduction everything is occurring inside the animal is that clear so in case of artificial insemination they collect the semen and then the sperms are directly injected in order to uh, allow the fertilization of the mature oocytes so that it can produce the progeny thank you